Hi, Hi, we're John and Leah. Leah. And this video is what Americans hate most about British people. We hate to see it. <laughs> I know we hate to see it. We love ourselves so and much. we hate we, the people who hate Brits. We hate to see this. Thing. I know, but we, we must for entertainment purposes. <laughs> <laughs> you know when like coronavirus hit and like our, our Prime Minister was like, we must, we must stay at home. That yeah. reminded me of the way you were just like, we must, we must talk about this. this. Well, I'm, I'm keen to know. I, I'm going to make a prediction. I haven't seen this. Okay. It's going to be like, they hate British teeth. They hate British... Teeth? Just Yeah, just our teeth. And I'm going to say rudeness. Rudeness, yeah. I'm going to say lack of guns. <laughs> yeah, how like social... Like, Socialist, socialized, yeah. Socialised medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And maybe food. Something to do with food. Something to do with like... stereotype that British food isn't good. Yeah, okay. Come on, let's have okay. it then. Right, number one. Oh, you called it. Unfriendly Brits. Unfriendly Brits. Okay. It says that despite thinking that, we, like, this is on, from our point of view, despite yeah. us thinking that we're more polite than Americans, yeah. we can actually be a bit cold. Right. And um, they think it's because Americans left alone in an empty room would try and hang out, um, whereas with British people, we'd just be like... Ignoring each other, perhaps. Yeah. I think that's why, like, if you're a Brit that's more open, more friendly, more giving, like, you're more likely to be liked by an American. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because if you're, like, the stereotype, like, that's a picture from This Is England, isn't it? Okay. And um, that is just classic, like, unfriendly. Unfriendly Brits. Brits. Like that. <laughs> Which yeah. is, like, the antithesis to, like, what the stereotype of Brits is in terms of, like, the queen and royalty and like yeah. the true gentleman and all these things like yeah. we do have like that is like a fairy tale really that's not what most bricks are like yeah that's like one percent not point nor one percent yeah i mean we're very friendly yeah but, and i think for us when we come across maybe not friendly yeah it's more to do with the fact that we're like oh i couldn't possibly intrude on them i don't want to i don't want to overstep my mark and like talk to them in case they don't want to talk to me like it comes from an internal worry yeah not from an arrogance of like i don't want to talk to you yeah Agreed, agreed, mm. agreed. Right, the next one. Next one is TV. <laughs> oh, didn't think they'd hate that. Wow. What, do they think our TV is just boring? So apparently like our soaps aren't that good. Oh and yeah, like that. oh I do agree. But like don't look at our soaps, look at like the big Films. film franchises. Yeah, like Harry Potter, yeah. stuff like that. I think, yeah, obviously our soap dramas are gonna be awful, but that's just also a massive part of like British culture. I can't believe I used to like grow up and like put these senders on and like watch it and get really involved with the characters. It was just, there's just a thing we all did. Yeah. And maybe they're like, we can say that they're a bit trash, mm. but at the same time, of course Americans don't like it because they can't relate to it. Yeah. And they might not understand the accent and things like that. Whereas to Brits, like, you can kind of relate to yeah. the characters in soap operas because it's just everyday life. Set in a life. small town yeah. and yeah. So that's that. The next one, oh yeah, the food. Oh, oh, nosh. Nosh okay. is what we call food. So you called that, you yeah. know, there's a stereotype that British food is is mm. almost non-existent slash that we haven't really got a culture of food because our food culture is stolen, say it. So this person has said, you're gonna be so triggered by this, I'm sorry in advance. Go on. Um, that they don't like the full English breakfast. For goodness but sake. It's only the blandness of the baked beans or the black pudding that I don't like. I love the rest and sometimes dream of a fine porridge. Oh, come on. Baked beans, bland. Bland? You obviously haven't tried Heinz. Honestly, Heinz baked beans are stunning. stunning. Oh my gosh, there's nothing bland about baked beans. Yeah. Also, black pudding, gross. Yeah, um, that is but good. Also, don't Americans have a problem with beans for breakfast? They do. They have like refried, not, why do we have refried beans Refried beans stuff? in a Mexican and, restaurant. Yeah, but it's just not a breakfast ingredient. No. Whereas we love baked beans for breakfast. Baked beans you can have for breakfast, lunch and dinner and dessert if you want, like but honestly. From my opinion, like from what I've seen in America, all of the beans that they have in tins are like flavor, like different kinds of like mm. unique, it's not just plain beans. No. We've all got our different beans, guys. We do. And even the ingredients differ, because I know Heinz are in America as well. Maybe they're even an American company, but for some reason Heinz in America doesn't taste the same as no. Heinz here. 
and we think the taste is better here, but clearly some Americans think the taste is better there. So what's so. hilarious is how they said it was bland, but they, they crave a porridge. It's like, oh, come on. Porridge Stop. is boring. Porridge is just... I have it every single blooming morning and it's so boring. It's like, I'm a boring person. I'm a boring person. <laughs> I have boring porridge. Honestly, I don't look forward to it at all. <laughs> and I know what I'm doing to myself when I eat it. Yeah. Just making myself more bored. Exactly. So, and yeah. Americans call that oatmeal, don't they? It's not like they oatmeal. don't have porridge, they just call it something different. Yeah. All right, I'm triggered. What's triggered. next? Triggered. Um, the next one is driving on the left. Why would you Hang hate on. that? Oh, okay. They can't hate it. They must just find it strange. Like the same way that yeah. we, don't, we don't have hate in ourselves for no. the fact that they drive on the other side. Well, I don't care. Like, it does make me laugh, though, when we get comments all the time being like, you drive on the wrong side of the road, and I'm like, it's never even occurred to me as something to say to Americans like, you drive on the wrong side of the road. I'm just like, no, you drive, you on, drive on a different side to we do. But I think we're one of the only countries in Europe that drives on the left. So yeah. Americans could go driving around France and Spain and Italy yeah. and they're still driving on the right, but they come to the UK and you've got to drive on the left. That's so, yeah, I love so everything you just said. This Thank is you. so right. Thank you. And also you're so correct in that we would never say you're wrong. No. Like we'd just be like, oh, that's different yeah. to what we know. I know, it's so weird. It's so funny. But I'm sorry if that triggers you that we drive on the left. I quite like it because it's like not many people, I think Australia drives on the left as well. Yeah. Those are the only two countries I know of that do. So yeah. I'm like, it's quite nice. We're in a little tiny club where we're like, we drive on yeah. the left. Yeah, I think Cyprus is left and Greece is right. Okay. So. Cyprus I mean, as well. They can join the gang. They can join the gang. They can join guys. the gang. Is Cyprus part of the Commonwealth? Um, does it? If they've got British Army troops there, does it probably mean they are? Probably. Yeah. 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 Maybe that's why. Does Canada drive on the left then? I don't know. These are questions we need answering. Guys. <laughs> yeah. This one's mutual. It says the weather. The Americans don't like the weather here in the UK, and then it says, "Well, we don't either." So join the club. Honestly. The most unpredictable weather ever. Like right now especially you can't leave the house and dress for this weather it's like the sun will come up then it'll be freezing then it'll just rain then it'll be really hot again and you're just like make up your mind yeah, you can't plan you're like sweating i went to bed last night i've got like a really thin duvet I how went many to bed. dogs three tiny isn't well it? you just have to go and beat me <laughs> i've got a four have you yes yes you beat actually me. i think mine's three and a half so it's only 0.5 of a difference okay well i'm but, sure it makes a huge difference uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I get so hot all the time, so even in winter, I've, I've got three and a half top. Mm. But I was wearing like a t shirt and my shorts. <laughs> winter? And three and a half in winter? Yeah. I have like 13 in winter. Oh. I have like practically a human. No, <laughs> I can't. Day. I mean, I do sometimes then bring on an extra blanket for extra right. warmth, but only three when I'm freezing, shivering. Year. And I still wear shorts and t shirt even in winter. Right, to bed. okay. But the point is, this morning I woke up without my clothes on, with my fan on full blast yeah. and I was like sweating even though it wasn't that hot and I was like what when did I take these clothes off and when did I turn the fan on wow. but my temperature is fluctuates so much wow. just like the weather. you might be like a sleep walker and talker like me yeah. well, I'm a sleep talker I don't know about the walking I haven't done that in a while but... sleep stripper instead sleep stripper <laughs> sleep fan switcher on yeah literally oh yeah. gosh oh well Oh, the next thing Americans hate is the royal family. Disagree, they don't, they love it. They love the royal family. They wouldn't want one for themselves, but they love the well, British royal family. Yeah, they're happy to admire from afar. Yeah. And slate from afar, like the Meghan stuff. And the last one of all of them, guys, is the NHS. It's not really a shocker, is it? I mean, we did guess at the beginning that they'd hate the socialised medicine thing. But as most of our viewers, American viewers, said on our NHS video, which we'll try and remember to link up here, cards. they were like, I think most Americans have been like fed a lie by the American government about socialised healthcare when actually it's a really great thing. So I yeah. think it's starting to spread. Most Americans are now starting to be like, you know what, I think we could do with the socialised healthcare. What kind of lies had they been fed? Well, just that the like high quality taxes. of care, really high taxes, the quality of care is awful, you're going to die in hospital. Right. Like, no, you're not. Like, and you're going to end up paying less than you do for health insurance yeah. for some people. 
and yeah yeah so i don't know well we're out here bursting the bubble yeah spreading the good word <laughs> i'm sure america will get a universal healthcare system very not very soon but at some Probably stage in the next 10 years yeah i reckon like in our lifetime we'll see it because i i think and most brits will think that america is very backwards for that reason it makes america look bad to the rest of the world not good so yeah. They need to change that. I know. I think my, my friend got like um, concussed in the US and just dealt with it and didn't get seen until she got home because she was just like, I just can't, I can't be here and spend this money on seeing a doctor. That's awful. Like, had really bad concussion. Yeah. Anyway, so it's just very sad. Never mind, but it's all right if you don't like the NHS because we Brits love it. We love so it and we're, okay. we're able to have it here. So yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, we hope you enjoyed that video. It's a bit of a different one. It was. It's interesting seeing people's perceptions, but um, yeah, let us know if you want us to do a reverse, but I feel mean doing a reverse, yeah. like what Brits hate about the US. So also I don't hate anything that much, apart from the fact that you don't have health care. <laughs> I thought you meant apart from the ice cubes in my drink. Apart from the ice cubes in my drink, I if I can have to tip all the time, etc, etc. Yeah, the tips. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did we ever tell the story about how the tips didn't get taken off? No, we've never No, told well, that. let's just not say it. Okay. We'll tell it in another. We'll, we'll tell it. it in a confession video. Oh, That's so bad. So okay, bad it was out of our control, but we'll it tell was. it another time. Okay, we'll save that. Okay, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And yeah, do all the things. We've got things. three other channels, so go check those out. They'll be linked all over the place. So, Leah Hansaka's channel, Joel channel, those two bricks, those all two of that. Bricks. got loads. Yeah, there's plenty of entertainment to go around. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.